killer. It could be interesting. It could be collaborative. You could find things. You could inspire. You could be inspired. The world needs people like you. The world is literally dying for your kind. Embrace that responsibility and run with it. Get out there and your key. Give back. It's not going to be easy. Never going to be easy. For much of it, you will stand alone, but you've got to stand strong. I, mean, I beg you, do not give in to mediocrity like the other 98% of the world. Because you would be doing yourselves and the world the great disgrace. You're all too smart. You're too smart to let it go to waste. I mean, you've got one shot. Don't let a moment of it slip by. Grab it, snatch it up, make it yours. Celebrate every moment. Celebrate every breath. I'm telling you, life, it's a bird song. Johnny Depp. Believe me or not, this world is dying for smart people like you. You may think that you're useless and cause no good to people, but that's not true. You are the unique people this world could have. But keep this thing in mind. Do not act mediocre because you're not born to any person. You are smart, so act like it. Do not change yourself because the world is not accepting you. Let the world change itself according to you. You only get life once, so don't miss this life trying to be perfect for people. Enjoy every moment, take risks, be adventurous, and live life to its fullest. Someone once told me that money doesn't change anybody's personality. Money reveals the true colors of that person, and I believe this with my whole heart. I think that we are so scared about our future and stuck in our past that we forget about the present. And that is not a good thing because life doesn't have any guarantee card. So stop worrying about the little things and start celebrating every moment. Don't worry about what people are going to say, what will be their reaction. Because once you look around yourselves, you see a lot of faces who are relying on you, who are inspired by your life. And because of your personality, they have a smile on their face. When I look back and think about the decisions I made, I don't feel any regrets. I still respect my choices and I think I did the right thing. Yes, most definitely. And printing T-shirts and selling ink pens and, you know, I mean, every, every any, anything and everything. There was a guy who I worked with many years ago, and we were talking about success and money and all that stuff. And um, he, he told me this one thing. He said, you know, money doesn't change anybody. Money reveals them, you know. Same thing with success. And uh, I believe that, you know, whole, wholeheartedly. So I'm still exactly the guy that used to pump gas, you know. I'm still the guy that was a mechanic for a minute, you know. I'm still, exactly. I just happen to have a weird, weirder job at the moment. If we could celebrate every breath that we take, because nothing's a guarantee. If we could celebrate the breath and the exhale, just being alive without, you know, how oh, my car won't start. There are things that are very, very important in life that we we just we don't think about, you know. And the, and one of the most worrisome things that I, that I went through years is you freaked up, freaked out about your past. You're worried. You're scared to death of the future. But the now doesn't exist, and, and, I, and I think that's a grave mistake that we make. I started playing the guitar at the age of 12. Yeah, it was the first real passion that I had. So I literally don't remember going through puberty because I locked myself in a room at the age of 12, 12, 13, and, and just played the guitar, I learned things off records, and taught myself how to play. And it was my life. And it was the only solace. It was the only sanctuary. It was the only security. It was my first love. You have to realize that whatever your day is, whatever you're doing, whatever your job is, whatever people think of you or project you to be, none of it matters, uh, really, until you look around and see people who, who are in need. And um, I think that probably the best benefit of my job is to help to make people smile who otherwise uh, wouldn't or couldn't have a smile on their face. So, um, yeah, that's my deal. There were other things that I probably should have done from my perspective. I mean, from my point of view, I did the right things. Every, every film that I've done, I'm happy I made that choice. I don't have any regrets whatsoever. I think any actor, given a certain amount of success or given a certain amount, you know, you, you know, somebody hands you the ball, you run with it. If I had to do leading man things just to, just to continue to be an actor, continue to work, nah, I'd rather, I'd rather go back to pumping gas. 
If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more videos like this.